up, everybody? Hope you all are doing well. Coming to you from Knoxville, Tennessee. We're actually down here for a car show, and uh, we decided to check out some of the restaurants close out or close by the hotel. So we're gonna check out this Mexican restaurant because you know, gotta like Mexican for Mexican cuisine. And I can't talk today, so uh, we'll take a peek, and uh, you know, it seems to be rated pretty favorably. So we'll see what it's all about. Looks to be a little bit of a hole in the wall type of place, which you know, hole in the walls generally have good food, in my opinion. So let's check it out. As you walk inside, you're immediately greeted with the hostess stand and their happy hour specials. One of which we are definitely going to partake in on this visit. And here you can see the interior of the restaurant where it is colorfully decorated and it is small but quaint with some booths and some tables. On the other side of the wall, they've got a nice bar back here and some additional seating. Here we go, checking out this menu here. This place is called Mexico Lindo. Let's see what they have to offer in their menu. told about this salsa bar, so I have to check it out. Six different salsas. It's like a Verde, something Roja. Oh yeah, can't wait to check out some of this. We'll have to try all of them. So this is their house margarita. A little bit of salt on their rim. Yeah, three ninety nine. Can't beat it. First things first, margarita. Okay. Not too bad. You can taste a little. You know, you can taste the tequila in there. It's not right, real heavy, but it's all a margarita. I mean, you can't go wrong with a margarita, right? That's great. So it looks like uh, they give you chips and salsa here. Give it to you in this little side thing. It's not too dark, so I wonder how spicy it is. It's probably pretty mild. So we'll dig into this here in a minute. And here's our samples of the different salsas that we're going to try out. So it looks like there's five of them. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. All right, now let's get into our original thing that we're going to get into. Try some of these different salsas that they've got. So we'll start with the easy one. This looks like their normal, probably mild salsa. Yeah, that's like your typical salsa that you'd find. It's really, really mild, heavy in the tomato, super light, refreshing. Pretty good though. All right, moving on. We'll just go up in the color gradient, I guess. So this next one looks like it's more of a verde salsa. It's got that green coloration. So we'll see. That sauce is really, really thin. Really, really, really delicate in flavoring, though. It's not real heavy. Um, hmm, kind of hard to describe. Just really, really light, you know, kind of a fresh. 
but it's not like as bright as the tomato paste, or I mean the tomato flavoring out of the first salsa that we tried. So, this other one looks fairly thin as well. It's more of a orangish, like a dark orange, almost tan consistency for coloring. <coughs> Okay, this one's definitely got a lot more spice to it, but it's not super, super spicy, so it's got a little bit of heat to it. You get a little bit of pepper on the top of your mouth, in the back of your tongue, but it's not like real, real heavy, and it kind of lingers there for a little bit, so still pretty solid. All right, this one should be like a Verde Salsa, because it's a little bit creamier. It's light green. You probably see this at a lot of different places or a lot of uh, taquerias and stuff like that. So again, that's a little bit thin. But it's definitely a verde. Again, it's got a little bit of heat to it. But it's not like overwhelming or anything like that. So, but it is still pretty, pretty solid. I dig that one. All right. Finally, we got the orange one. It's thin. You can tell it, it has a lot of movement to it. So it's not super, super thick. We doing okay? Doing great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, that one is definitely the hottest one. Again, if you're uh, you know if you're used to spicy foods and stuff like that, it's not like overly like overly spicy. But if you're not used to like spicy foods, you might think it's a bit much. This one has heat that lingers along a little bit more. It definitely touches the back of your tongue, roof of your mouth, sits there for a few minutes. Pretty cool though. First impressions, how is it? My father is a man of few words, so this is about as good of a review as you're going to get out of him. In case you couldn't catch it, he said that the food was pretty good. Here is the tomate supremos. Lots of lettuce. You can see that the tomato on there. You got rice and beans. Oh yeah. And you know, since tamales are their specialty, I figured, you know, I have to try it, right? So, I mean, you see in there that shredded chicken and the tamale itself. All right, this looks pretty tasty. And like everything in the food world, tastes everything, right? Looks is only the surface. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get a better look at this. There you go. Yeah. All right. Let's dig in. So the chicken is really tender. You know, it's just plain shredded chicken. I don't taste the marinade or anything like that on there. And then you've got the casing. You know, it's made of that corn masa. Really soft, really delicate. And it actually has a little bit of sauce on the side. It's almost like a gravy, a little bit of a rich kind of flavor to it. Kind of hard to describe again, but I don't know, gravy is probably the closest that I can really describe it, which is odd because I don't think I've ever really had something that I would describe as gravy at a Mexican restaurant, but it's different, so I like it. All right, so it comes with three tamales, so let's get into the second one. So it looks like it might be a pork. Losing food all over the place. This is either a beef or a pork. It looks more like a pork coloring to me. Let's take a look at that. Again, you can see the edge. 
with that corn masa. It's what you want to see in the tamale, right? Hmm. I can taste more of the, uh, the masa on that one. Okay, that's that's beef. It's definitely beef. So again, the beef is super super tender. That masa. I mean, that masa. Is, this is probably one of the better enchiladas I think I've had. I'm going to put it out there right now. It, it's a solid, solid enchilada. Or, I mean, not enchilada, but a tamale. So, I mean, so far so good. I'm pretty happy, happy boy. <laughs> All right, it's third one. This must be the pork. So you can see again, the thick moss on there. See a little bit of pork in there. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I'm really, really happy that I went with the tamales. They're really, really solid. That one didn't have a lot of meat in there, though. Let's see if we can take another bite, see if we can actually see a little bit more meat. This one is a little bit thicker, but you can see. You can see that meat in there. Yeah, these were super awesome. Highly recommend. Now I know why they're known for them, because, I mean, they're, they're something special for sure. All right, let's go into some sides. Refried beans and rice. I don't know how special you can make those, but we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Normal refried beans. You know, it's kind of like the bean paste. You feel, you know, some like actual like whole beans are in there or partial beans. Not bad. And then let's see on this rice. Solid rice. It's a little bit soft. You know, but it's not like, you know, it's obviously not overcooked. And it's not under, so they're done well. Pretty mild seasoning and flavoring. That's about what you would find at a lot of uh, Mexican restaurants, but again, solid. So this is something cool, too. At all the booths, they've got these uh, paintings on the tops of the, uh, the benches, which is really, really cool. These look like they're all hand-painted. It's actually got a date of the artist. So, it's a nice little touch, I think. You know, I have seen this type of uh, artwork at other restaurants. Maybe not this specific artist, but, you know, I think it, it's a nice touch, for sure. All right, so some final thoughts. I'm embarrassed to say that I couldn't even finish everything because I think I spoiled my meal coming over or down here. So we stopped by Bucky's on the way down to Knoxville. Um, so, you know, that was a few hours ago. And, of course, I had to get brisket and everything while I was there. But either way... You know, if you're in Knoxville, Tennessee, specifically if you're on like the West End of town, this restaurant is in the West End of town. It's called Mexico Lindo. You should definitely try checking it out. You know, apparently they are known for their tamales. And I can definitely say for certain that the tamales are it's solid. I don't think you can go wrong with them. They're probably one of the better tamales that I've had, if not, I don't know, maybe the best. You know, it's kind of hard to say, but they're really, really good. You know, and it's fairly inexpensive. You know, I think they're like $13. So, I mean, it's still pretty affordable. I mean, these days you go out to fast food, you can spend over $10, or at least I do. But it might be because I'm a little bit of a bigger boy. I get a lot of food that I probably shouldn't. But, I mean, prices are up these days. So, you know, Mexican cuisine, generally speaking, you can find a little bit more reasonable price. And, I mean, it, it's always solid. It's always fun to eat. It's great. And, you know, if you come during happy hour, you get, you know, cheaper margaritas. Margaritas are also very good. So, well, if you enjoyed this content, you know, I invite you to, uh, you know, follow along and subscribe. And, uh, you know, you can see what I get into in the future. 
I'll bring you some more food reviews from random restaurants in the cities that I'm in. Other than that, that does it for this video. I'm happy. I'm very full. And after this, I'm probably just going to relax in the hotel until I got to wake up early for the show tomorrow and start filming. But, uh, you know, until next time, I'll see you somewhere. Have a good one. Well, one thing I did want to mention that I forgot to in my closing is the service here is excellent. They're super, super attentive to everything. They come back and check on you multiple times. I mean, this is some of the best service that I've gotten at a restaurant in a long time. So that, that's, that's awesome.